This is my sixth and final video of the Altera Cordis version 12.1 SOPC Builder and Neo Suite walkthroughs. As you will see, this is the same circuit we designed in Lab 5, except I've added the LCD display into our SOPC circuit so we can use the LCD screen on the Cyclone 2 board to produce our bi ca binary counter program. So what I've done is I've gone into the 7 segment display SOPC Builder, And I've gone under Memories, SD-RAM Interfaces, and added our SD-RAM from the last lab. I've also added the LCD display. And that will be found under Peripherals, Displays, Character LCD. There are no uh, options to click, so just use the basic and finish. So what the, the character LCD uses is a 16-bit wide bus, just like any other normal 16-bit wide output. So you're going to click Next, and then generate your SOPC design. So you'll have these outputs that are generated in your 7-segment display here, and they all need to be named, and the bus needs to have its own bus here. And then you have another output from the 7-segment display down here. So next what you're going to do is make sure you have your SDRAM.PLL clock controller here, same as we did last lab, 50 megahertz. And then you're going to need your clock or your LCD on and off tied to ground somewhere in your design here um, as your on and off for your screen. So all of these have to get their proper pinouts. So you're going to go into your pin planner. It's bigger for you. And here I have set all of the pins required for this design. All of your SD, SDRAM addresses, your segment PIOs, LED PIOs, and your LCD data here. And then your buttons. This is to, to toggle your uh, LCD screen on and off. So when you run this, you should have the counter on the seven segment display, the LCD screen, and on the green LEDs above the push buttons on the Cyclone board. So you close this. So if you attempt to run this without having the extra SD RAM in it, it will not compile. You will get a red error popping up. This is cannot place all RAM cells in design, can't fit design in device. So make sure you use the SD RAM chip we designed in the last lab. After you design this, you should be all set to attempt to run the count program from NEOS. So before you do that, you're going to want to start your programmer and click Start. This will preload your board into the programming phase. Next, you're going to want to open the uh, NIOS2 Eclipse. Do the same thing we've done before. File, New, from BSP Template. Create your count, same as we've done before. You're going to do properties under BSP. Except this time with the larger RAM, you're going to want to, instead of using the reduced drivers because we have so much memory on this board now, you're just going to want to have support for C++. And then apply, and then OK. Under the NIOS2 BSP editor, You can leave this all unchecked, and you do not need to enable the small driver because we have so much RAM it's not necessary. And then click Exit. Right click Count V1, Run As, and iOS 2 Hardware. So see as we have it counting here. If you've done this properly, and you go and look on your LCD screen, these numbers should be popping up in sequence on your LCD screen on your board. And it should look something like this.
This concludes my six video series using Altera Portis version 12.1, Neo Suite, and SOPC Builder.